So Ray Jardine and John Lakey climbed Crimson Cringe back in 1976 to make its, its first ascent. And back then it was done with Jardine's prototype called the Friend. The friends that were used that he first made set the foundation for the camps that are used today. Well, the first friends changed everything. I, I lived in Camp 4 at the time. There were rumors going around that he had this secret weapon. Ray Jardine was super secretive about his development of cams. He didn't want to tell anyone he was climbing with what he was doing because he didn't want to lose his idea to somebody else. And so he'd hide them under his jacket and people were like, who are you climbing with? Say, oh, I'm going climbing with my friends. And then he'd secretly like take off to the boulders and go tinker around. So it became the name of the first commercially available camming unit. Prior to that, we were using passive gear, um, you know, stoppers and hexes. And then these things came along, which the more parallel the craft, the better they held. And up to that point, there wasn't any gear on the market that protected parallel tracks. Suddenly, we didn't have to hang there in the middle of this parallel section, sticking around with a stopper and trying to go, oh God, it might hold. But cams, boom, plug it in, clip, go. And you know it's good, put another one in, clip, go. Oh, it's hard for you? Hang on it. So suddenly, everybody was climbing at a better level. Crimson Cringe is a perfect place for his invention because the friends fit beautifully in the crack. The terrain is difficult enough where he has to rely on them to hold falls. And by using them, he was able to push himself to his limit. You know, these routes wouldn't have been done without him. And also by doing these routes, at the time where the top in difficulty in the United States, climbers around the world heard about them. And so suddenly they became test pieces. These cams were designed for Hangdog Flyer, Phoenix, and Crimson Cringe, which is why when you climb these routes, friends fit perfectly. So the first friends were rigid stem. Of course, all the friends have four opposing lobes, and they also had a short sling. What's changed is the modern zero cams, since gone to a flexible stem, they have narrow cam heads, they fit pin scars, they fit flared cracks, and most importantly, they're secure and bomber. I actually met Chris before I can even remember. Having deep roots here in Yosemite himself, so it was fun to be reintroduced to Chris uh, earlier this summer. Like Chris isn't just a strong valley climber, but he's sort of a fixture within the Yosemite climbing community. And I mean, he's been here for years and he's you know, personally witnessed the evolution of trad climbing gear and how that's changed climbing in Yosemite. I've been coming to this route since I was probably 19 years old and I'm 43 now. I come back and do it later in life it brings me back to a place that I really enjoyed back then. And so climbing with the modern friends now in Yosemite where they were invented and retracing the routes that Jardine did with the original prototypes, I can feel the history of the route and feel the evolution of the gear at the same time. <laughs>